Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so another video, another update. Uh, this time we have uh, five items. Uh, they're all tapes, and uh, they're all tapes by pretty good labels, as you might have figured out. Uh, yeah. So we're going to talk about that. We're finally drinking a beer. Uh, not sure when this update is actually going to come out. It might come out shorter from uh, the last video that I anticipated. So if it does, then it's cool. If it doesn't, then it's, uh, you know, business as usual, whatever month or day this is going to be. Finally have some free time of work. Uh, sorry for this, uh, fucked up uh, my hand uh, a bit. Surprisingly, while replacing the kitchen sink. So yeah, a lot of jokes about the kitchen sink. And then you have one more here. All right, so finally we're drinking a beer. Uh, unfortunately, the shitty shop uh, that's near my house uh, doesn't hold. It holds uh, craft beers, only five variations. It even has one of my favorite craft beers, which is Tanker Reloaded, the local one. Uh, but they usually have an issue with restock. So sometimes they don't restock it. I went there two times. Unfortunately, no craft yet. Uh, so, uh, Paul Lanner, the famous German beer. This one is a uh, Weiss beer. Uh, I haven't drank Paul Lanner, especially this one. This one definitely in years. I think maybe a good three years that I haven't drank it. So, yeah, let's just open it and drink it. It was the best option uh, from uh, all the beers that they had. Plus, uh, guys, if you're from Germany, tell me how you feel about Paul Lanner. Is it uh, like, I know it's a cult beer there, but do you consider it to be good? Do you consider it to be mass produced or shit like that? In the background, we are listening to Kruka Krest, uh, Auf Wiedersehen, the latest album. So yeah, anyway, without further ado, at least we have this beer. We have this matching sort of glass. I know the Germans drink from this kind of sometimes, Paul Lanner especially. Uh, let me put it like this. Uh, it's Alexander. Alexander is a local mass produced beer, by the way. Okay, I hope it's gonna be okay. One time I fucking bought a beer from that shop, the regular one, not the craft one. Uh, it was Koizel, and I poured it in uh, in the glass, and it smelled like fucking eggs, so it was bad. So, hopefully, on this time they won't fail me with the their not craft beer selection okay so yeah paul on our wise beer the famous munich wheat fucking beer sponsor of a lot of teams in german bundesliga so guys cheers and let's roll Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely If you don't have any options, I would recommend Paul Lanner. It's quite refreshing even for a wheat beer at summer in hot weather. It will be perfect. Fuck it. Let's roll So tapes we're gonna stop start off with this one. Sorry for the glare It's very very good weather today outside and it's very sunny Surprisingly for the Baltics in this time of the year. So anyway here we have a uh, a band that uh, everybody knows, but <laughs> a very little percent of people can pronounce it right. Let's hope I, I'm gonna do it right. Miss Terming from Iceland, established in 2013. Of course, Miss Terming uh, means, uh, if you translate it to English, it means uh, mistreatment. I've uh, seen this band live two times, uh, both in Estonia, by the way. Uh, both times were fantastic. Here are the guys. Uh, this is their third full-length album, uh, released in 2022. And it's called... Uh, again, if I pronounce it right, uh, Melt Hamri, which means with hammer. There you go. It's released on... Uh, uh, Vanagander Records, another hard name. It seems like uh, in the last years, like the names have become are becoming more and more harder to pronounce. Both uh, 
the band names and the label names. Has a very beautiful big boot, uh, booklet here for a tape, as you can see. Yeah, a lot of information, lyrics and stuff like that. So like I said, this is their third full length album. Uh, in the band's own words that you can find on Bandcamp about this album, they say this album is a celebration of violence and uh, excess. Uh, first thing uh, you will, of course, notice when you're gonna play the thing on uh, your players is how uh, powerful it is, how filthy it sounds, aggressive, how dark it is. Uh, there is a bit of variety here because the passages between the songs they incorporate this long ambient passages. Some people, as I understood, didn't like them, not because they are bad, but because they are pretty long. But I find it uh, very interesting and uh, nicely done. Uh, those passages help create this bleak atmosphere for this album. It's uh, For me, it's strange. I can describe it only like as a... Uh, it has this triumphant bitterness. It's not suicidal, but it's powerful, aggressive. It's pretty catchy, but it has this kind of bitterness to it. I did some uh, research on this album and I stumbled upon the interview by DG, who is the main guy uh, in the band. Uh, he writes lyrics and plays guitars and does a lot of other stuff for the band. And he basically said that it might be considered a uh, concept album, because uh, a concept album based on hate. Uh, he said... Uh, some songs are a declaration of war, some songs are mocking uh, the enemies. Uh, the cover here, this one, with the building, he described it as uh, inhospitable and uh, intimidating, as it should be. And then he goes on to say, it's very, pro uh, it's very arrogant things of me to say, but that's the fucking point. That's how black metal should be. Black metal should be arrogant. And I could not agree more with him. Uh, it's an amazing album, probably one of the best albums in 2022. Uh, yeah, and if you haven't listened to it, basically a modern day Icelandic uh, classic. Icelandic scene is uh, pretty well known at this point. And uh, Miss Thurming is one of the bands that surely delivers on it. The first album was amazing. This one is amazing. They had a couple of, uh, they had a split, I think, in between those albums. If you haven't checked it out, uh, do yourself a favor. Look at the cover, the bleakness, the darkness, the bitterness, the powerful uh, stuff in it. All is present in this album. So, Miss uh, Therming uh, Melth Hamri. Amazing Icelandic black metal. So, yeah. Uh, from Iceland, we are quickly moving, because I don't want this video again to be two hours long of me talking uh, too much about not relevant things. Okay, cheers and let's roll. Hmm. Uh, you know, one thing I'm gonna go off the track. I don't think you can drink a lot of wheat beer. It's kind of thick in my opinion but hey maybe you have a different opinion okay so we're moving on to portugal uh portuguese scene also one of the most talked about scenes uh in the last years i think we have this one so this is mons verenis from portugal established in 2003 mons verenis was or is a part of a portuguese black circle uh why is or was, it's because it's unclear if the circle still exists or not. Here's the guy. The band has a, the project rather, has a huge discography. It's one of those projects that releases on a consistent base. Uh, it's hard for me to say how many members it has. Uh, it's either one or two, I believe it's two. Yeah, this one was released on a Harvest uh, of Death Records. And uh, the band name, uh, Mons uh, Veneris, means uh, Mountain of uh, Reverence, if I'm not mistaken. So this is their 
fifth full length album, but they have a lot of uh, splits, demos and stuff like that. Um, so this one is called, I'm gonna butcher it, but here goes, Inversados Doom Ahismo de Podridao, which translates to English as uh, in verses from the Abyss of Rot. 44 minutes. Uh, again, this might be not for everybody. This is a very interesting release in uh, that sense that when I listened to it for the first time and the second time, uh, I found myself uh, noticing that it's probably divided into two halves. Like, first side let's call it side A for example, is a more of a chaotic, uh, occultish black metal. It's mostly, it feels like a bit of improvisation is going on, it feels like, again, those, you know, those ritualistic bands that improvise, there's chaos, there's no certain structure to it, just like beautiful chaos. But the second part, the uh, second side, is more of a riffy, catchy, old-school black metal. Uh, the one word that comes to mind when uh, you can describe, as you can describe uh, Mon Severinus as, uh, is uh, probably harsh. It's not gonna be for everybody, but highly recommended probably for the people who are into Revenant Marquis, uh, Paveshen, bands like this. Uh, so yeah, for a more raw, obscure crowd of people, definitely recommend this one. So yeah, this is the Moons uh, Veneris from Portugal. Released on Harvester uh, of Death Records. Not gonna pronounce the name in uh, in their native language because it's hard. But in verses from the Abyss of Rot, fifth full-length album. Uh, logo is also very beautiful here. The font. So yeah. Black Circle from Portugal. Already. Cheers. Got three more to show you. So it's gonna be one of those. I don't know, rapid updates? Can you call them rapid updates? Probably not. Okay, we're moving. Or we're not moving. Let me think about it. No, we are definitely not moving. We are still staying in Portugal. Because on this. Uh, current segment I'm gonna show you the Signal Rex stuff. Signal Rex stuff including that stuff that was not Signal Rex stuff uh, I got everything on uh, Halls of Winter Festival so this is basically a haul that I got from the festival but the majority of stuff was Signal Rex so next three releases are from them alrighty so we're gonna start off uh, with a very interesting one I'm gonna start off with this one Oh, it caught my eye immediately when I was on festival. Uh, interesting cover. So this is Ruach Ra or Ruch Ra. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's a band from Portugal, established in 2012. Uh, so let me first, yeah, let's first talk about the music, and then we're going to dive into the. We're going to have another history lesson, <laughs> a religious one as well. So, uh, established in 2012, uh, this is a 2022 demo called Marquis of uh, Separance, uh, 20 minutes. So, four tracks, three band members, as I understand, and one Moonblood cover. Running time, 20 minutes. Comes on this hardboard, old school kind of thing that you need to, you know, open up. There's the guys here, there's only two, but as understood there's three of them, at least maybe one is a session member. And it goes like this. So musically, it's uh, fierce, uh, raw, punkish, uh, it's uncompromisingly fast. Uh, this is one of those uh, black metal bands, yeah? When you go to the black metal uh, concert and you have this rare mosh pit, this is one of those bands that you can you can mosh to, or you can you know jump around and dance to it. It's so rock and rollishly vibeish, but it's not really black and roll. It's more of a mix of black metal and punk, maybe in my opinion. 
perhaps perhaps for fans of Carpathian Forest, but that's kind of more of a black and rollish thing. thing. It's very nasty sounding as well, so maybe not uh, not Carpathian Forest, maybe not the Frost uh, fans will appreciate it. It's something on the border of that. This is a, like I said, Signal Rex release, uh, limited to uh, 100 copies. And let's take a look at the tape. It comes on this beautiful yellow tape. So, Ru, as you can see, it's either Ruchra or Ruchra. I'm gonna pronounce it Ruchra, whatever. Fuck it. It's gonna be Ruchra. So, uh, interesting enough, uh, done some research on the name. So, first of all, uh, it's in the Hebrew, and the name means evil spirit. So done some research on the evil spirit part. So interestingly enough, this is taken from a uh, Kabbalah or Kabbalah worship. Uh, Ruch Ra. There are two variations here of evil spirit. At least I stumbled upon two. So first one is the evil spirit that if you touch his eyes or ears, you go blind and death. But you go blind and death not in a physical way, you go blind in death in a spiritual way. It means you can't uh, see or hear the message of faith and the message of Torah in uh, Hebrew religion. I think the band goes by this definition, because the second definition is it, it's pretty stupid one. I read it two times, at least this is what I got from it. So the second definition of this evil spirit is an evil spirit uh, that comes at night and touches your, for example, uh, it's very specific on the hands part, I don't know why. Uh, it touches your hands, yeah? But here it doesn't act in a spirit spiritualistic way. Here it's like uh, realistically, so it touches your hands and if you don't wash your hands on the next day that uh, after you wake up in a specific way and three times, uh, basically your hands will be sick. So, I guess the moral of that story is, guys and girls, wash your fucking hands three times, especially when you're visiting the toilet in the pub, especially guys, come on. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's why I think the first one <laughs> applies to the band name more than the second one. Anyway, so yeah, enough of Kabbalah and Torah, and again, we are into the history of Bible here. But yeah. It's a fucking solid release, a really good one. I uh, really like this one. Uh, definitely will go very well with beer and friends. It's fast, furious, and I love it. It's a good time kind of thing, even though it's, of course, dark. So, yeah, uh, Ruch uh, Rach with the Marquise of Serpents uh, demo tape, 2000. And 22 released, Signal Rex, 100 copies of limitation it has. Alrighty. Cheers, guys. Two more. Yeah, I definitely can only drink, like, I think, maximum two wheat beers. I don't know. It's kind of thick. Anyway, so, we are moving forward. We have this one, also Signal Signal Rex release. This is a legendary band. Or I've seen them live as well. Uh, fantastic live set, amazing. And uh, the cover of uh, Batteries: The Return is uh, also amazing. So this is Iraya from Portugal, established in 2002. Legendary band by all standards. Uh, part of the infamous Black Circle of Portugal. Uh, Mainly a project of one guy, uh, Vulturis, he's the mastermind behind the project. This, uh, the discography is pretty huge as well. Uh, this is uh, their 2019, I think it's demo, I think it's demo, yeah. It's called The Maniac Perversions of My Soul. So basically this is what? This is one track, 27 minutes. Uh, but yeah, don't let this fool you because uh, there is a variety in this track it slows down it goes uh, up and down basically it's 
a couple of tracks, maybe three, four tracks. It's not one, but it's done like, yeah, it's one. There's inverted crosses here, you got this. Uh, from the very first opening, you hear a haunting scream. Basically, you already understand what you got yourself into. And then it blasts off immediately into this strong orthodox black metal. Vocals uh, are sharp as uh, razor blades. Uh, it has this rocking, again, punkish vibe, nasty at times. Uh, like I said, even though it's a uh, one track, it has a lot of variety. It slows down uh, on a more slower parts of the track uh, there's more atmosphere uh, basically if you listen to it for 27 minutes it flies by it leaves you breathless it leaves you wanting for more Ira is one of those bands that always left me feeling for more always i just uh, absolutely adore this band amazing stuff by them as usual uh Maybe a lesson in Latin then. Uh, Iraya, a weird name, maybe somebody doesn't know it. So from Latin, Iraya means day of, of wrath. There you go. Another fantastic release by Signal Rex. Love this one. Uh, yeah, by this time I think everybody should know Iraya. Signal Rex also has very good um, mm, long sleeves. But they usually are sold out really fast. I am definitely looking forward to picking up uh, Iraya merch next time. Maybe not next time, maybe in the next month. I haven't bought any merch, like seriously, I haven't bought any t-shirts uh, and any long sleeve. I think for the last six or seven months, because the wardrobe is so full of them, I can't really put them anywhere. But yeah, uh, this one I'm going to buy. So yeah, good orthodox, in this case orthodox, black metal. Iraya, uh, the, maniac, the Maniac Perversions of My Soul, demo, 2019 Signal Rex stuff. Okay, so we got one more left. Uh, let's put this one here, let's finish it. So yeah, Paul Honor. Uh, I can only say that it would be refreshing for summer, but it's, you know, yeah, it's okay. -ish. So, uh, next up, actually, finally, we're now moving to Poland, uh, a band that probably everybody already showed. Everybody gave the band a lot of praise and rightfully so. Mm, very good project, very awesome tape. Uh, I don't remember if it's going to be on vinyl or if it wasn't vinyl, but probably it, of course, will be. Talking about this monster here. So, Diabolical Full Moon. Uh, yeah, Diabolical Full Moon, Unholy Pagan War, and Promo Rehearsal, Signal Rex. Let's take a look into the cover. Old school. Screams black metal right at your face. No compromising here. It's unwelcoming. And it is what you can call pure black metal. So, Diabolical Full Moon. From Poland. That already screams that is going to be a good black metal project. Established in 2020. I think it's a three-piece band. Uh... I think they have three demos, one EP and one full length, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a 2023 release, this is a demo. 18 minutes of uh, dense, intense, pagan black metal, fast tempos, shrieking vocals, all the best attributes of, uh, 19th of uh, 90s uh, school, old school black metal are incorporated here. Uh, I can't even describe it. It's amazing. As you can see also, let's go. Music is dedicated only to elite, pure-minded individuals who support true black metal scene. And they don't support whores and posers that pretend to be who they are not and never will be. 
Fuck off all the heavy metal horse. Riders of Doom, Polish Falls Black Metal. Got the logo here. Support the true underground. Like I said, I can't say enough good things about it. Also, as you can see, they're telling you all to fuck off with your any kind of religion. Probably not paganism. Or maybe, I don't know. I, yeah, probably not paganism, of course. Maybe some modern day hippie style of paganism. But yeah, there you go. All religious need all, all religions need to fuck off. Uh, yeah. So, like I said, diabolical full moon. Uh, amazing stuff. Uh, it's only 18 minutes long. I think it's uh, limited to a hundred copies. This version. There was another version. Basically, it's probably the same one as this one. The only difference is that this one came with a patch. I'm going to show you the patch is basically the same as this one. So Signal Rex definitely done a good job, especially with this release. I also bought it on the festival on Halls of Winter. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the patch is pretty good. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it on on a jacket. By the way, also you can see this here. The pagan symbols. So yeah, a very, very, very good, strong uh, Polish uh, Orthodox pagan black metal. Like I said, with all the best uh, attributes of the 90s old school. If you're a fan of that, you will definitely like Full Moon, uh, Diabolical Full Moon. The praise on the internet is... Uh, going around and it's going around rightfully this is uh again one of the best releases so far and it's amazing so signal rex has done a really good job in this case so there we go a pretty fast update not uh, so much stuff but we have five items and we had a beer finally so next update hell knows where it's gonna be when, when, when it's gonna be hell knows when this is gonna come up might even come up right after uh, the last one that I did, if I'm in a good mood, or I might save it a bit for the future, since I've posted so much through February till 2nd of March, I think, like four videos, that's a lot. So cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you had a beer as well. Hope you're safe, as usual. Go support the underground, go support black metal, never listen to anybody, make your own decisions, stay frosty, and stay fucking black metal, and I'll see you around in the next one.